Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a certain number of examples. Now, these questions have been taken from London Examinations, IGCSC, Maths Foundation Tire. So, this is one question uh, from question A to E. Okay, hopefully we can finish it within 10 minutes. So, this is the diagram. The diagram shows triangle ABC. So, on a centimeter centimeter grid so this is one centimeter by one centimeter grid so the first question is okay write down the coordinates of the point a so whenever you're reading the coordinates of a point you always read this point is associated with which number on the x-axis so this point is associated with one on the x-axis and which number on the y-axis so well you can see it's associated with one on the x-axis and phi on the that's the convention that's used whenever you are writing coordinates this the x the first number tells you the x coordinate and the second number tells you the y coordinate that's the convention so we say point a has a coordinate of one comma phi just like that now B, now this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. Now point B is, uh, you can say it's phi on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. This point, this is the origin. This point is called 0, 0. Okay, sorry. This point is called if you write if you want to write the coordinate of this point that is 0 0 if you want to write the coordinate of 10 10 is written the coordinate of this point is 10 0 so the coordinate of this point is 5 0 if you want to write the coordinate of this point this is 0 on the x axis and 4 on the y axis so point b has got the coordinate of 5 comma zero okay now find the length of a b give you answer in millimeters so here we have to use Pythagoras theorem now this is the Pythagoras theorem I've copied and pasted from the formula sheet now this is a right angle triangle angle this is a right angle uh, this is the right angle so these are two smaller sides and this is called the hypotenuse so the, the theorem is a squared plus b squared is c squared what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a right angle triangle okay so what do I mean so let me do this so I'm drawing a right angle triangle join making up a right angle triangle okay so just like that so this what is this length one two three four this is four across and one two three four five one two three four five so this length is five so we can say this is say my a and this is my c this is my b sorry this is my b so the question is i'm comparing this is a that's four and this is b so the question is we want to find a b so let me say that is c so what do we know c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared so what is your a so that is 5 squared plus 4 squared so let me show the working here so c squared is what is 5 squared 25 plus 4 squared is 4 times 4 which is 16 so c squared is 25 plus 16 is 41 so c is square root of 41 now you can use the calculator so this is my calculator you go shift square root you if you have an electronic calculator you may have a square root key there square root of 41 is 6.4 in 1 dp so this is 6.4 centimeters or 40 centimeters which is 64 millimeters so f let me first write the answer in centimeters so this is in centimeters so this will also be in centimeters so c is 6.40 let me scroll down a little 64 
can can I write it here now? I'll write it down. So C, which is nothing but your AB, is 6.40 centimeter, which is nothing but 64 millimeters. Because one centimeter, you should be know, you should be knowing one centimeter is 10 millimeter. Okay. So the answer for this is 64 millimeters. Now you want to find the perimeter of triangle ABC. Perimeter is the distance uh, around the boundary. So the perimeter of this would be 4 plus 5 plus 6.4. So the perimeter would be 4 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 6.4 centimeters. So this is 9 plus 5 is 15.4 centimeters, which is 154 millimeters. Okay, that's done. Name the special name of triangle ABC. Now, this triangle ABC, uh, this is, uh, this seems to be, and so this is, this is also 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. This will also be, this we saw is 6.4 centimeters. So, you can find this will also 6.4 centimeters because you got 4 across and 5 down. So, this will be, so this is an isosceles triangle ABC. Two sides are equal. So, you can say triangle ABC. The special name of triangle ABC is isosceles. I hope the, tri the spelling is right. It's isosceles triangle. Okay, that's a special name. Name the measure of angle B. Okay, so the question is, what's angle B? So, this is, uh, this is 3, 4, 5, so this is, the question is, what is this angle? Okay, so how will we do this? So, so this is 5 and this is 4. So, we'll have to use trigonometry to work this out. Uh, we'll do this in the next video. I'll continue this in the next video.